I'm here today in the longleaf pine habitat with Burner Bob. We also have some of his young fire college's friends. Let's go take a walk and meet some of Burner Bob's other friends. Last summer, we spent several days walking in the woods in a longleaf pine forest with Burner Bob and some of his friends. We made a little video. A walk in the woods with Burner Bob and friends. So come join us as we walk together in the fire forest. Burner Bob is a cool dude with a hot message. He has dedicated his life to teaching people about the longleaf pine forest and fire. A lot of his friends live here and depend on fire to keep their habitat healthy. More on that later. Say hello to the fascinating gopher tortoise, a keystone species whose burrows are important for a lot of critters. Let's look for some really cool birds that live in this forest. Just look up and you will see and hear many of Burner Bob's friends. A lot of woodpeckers and ground nesting birds call longleaf pine their home. It's always nice to spend some time with the gentle giant, the indigo snake, who is emperor of the forest. It's the largest non-venomous snake in North America. And of course, we'll see plenty of Burner Bob's favorite plant friends. And along the way, we'll also run into some fascinating insect friends. Also an important part of the web of life. Oh, but wait, we almost forgot. What makes all this possible? Longleaf Pine is a fire forest. What does that mean? Well, it means that the trees and the animals need fire in order to survive. Geez, that's weird, right? Let's explain this concept on Burner Bob's gigantic smartphone. Kids and animals, I'm Burner Bob. As time passes, the woods get overgrown. The soil gets tired and worn out, and there is no space for the animals. Eventually, lightning strikes and makes a fire. After the fire passes, the sun's rays break through and nutrients and minerals from the burned plants seep back into the soil. The soil is now fed and happy again. A fresh understory grows back and the animals return. Another replenishing cycle is completed. Lightning fires have been cleansing fire forests for thousands of years. It used to happen every couple of years here in the Longleaf Pine. Unfortunately, it's hard to let them happen naturally now because there are just so many people and houses and farms and businesses everywhere. So today, Burner Bob's fire ecology friends have to carefully set control fires. We have special tools to do this and we train for years. We even have important fireproof clothes to protect us from the dangerous heat. We write detailed plans, get a permit, prepare the area, and burn small sections at a time, only when the weather is right. That means when the humidity is right and when the wind is right. It's called prescribed burning. Burner Bob is helping the crew get ready for the prescribed burn today. He's loading the drip torches and the hand tools and the hoses. We ready, Burner? Oh, and you're probably wondering what happens to all of Burner Bob's friends during the fire. Well, his friends have evolved with fire and they know they need to get out of the way. They fly away or scurry into a stump hole or burrow. To them, getting away from a fire is just like hiding out from a big thunderstorm to pass. So the animals hide as the fire burns throughout the day. But the animals are not the only ones who are fire adapted. Even the plants are. Check out this young longleaf pine. Fire just passes right by them and they barely even notice. Most of the fire burns out by nightfall. And by the next morning, Animals are back. 
ready for a fresh start. The landscape might look a little bit like an alien planet right now. But in a few days, the plants will start growing back thanks to the newly nourished soil. Pretty soon, things will be beautiful and healthy. Fire has created a great place for Burner Bob's friends to celebrate the cycle of life. Here we are in the Longleaf Pine Forest recently burned. Burner Bob and his friends are having a great time in this really special place. So remember, if you see smoke and you see us out in the woods with our helmets and bright yellow shirts on, make sure you tell your parents not to worry that we're doing a prescribed burn to make the forest healthy. There will be more videos to come about our walks in the woods. So join Burner Bob and his spunky junior fire ecologists on our journey as we explore all the corners of the Longleaf Pine Forest. <laughs>